Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about another solo gold farm that you can do very easily. And this time with this gold farm, you will have a chance at getting a very, very rare item that is worth right now on average 1 million gold. And it's so rare that on European realms, you only have two available and on North American realms, you only have three available. So if you manage to get it, then probably you will be able to sell it for a lot of gold. Just before I start the video, of course, I want to insist on the fact that this is a transmog item. And so this is something that will take some time to sell. So if you're not into transmog farms and if you don't want to wait a couple of months for the item to sell, then maybe you can try to go visit my other videos and find another farm that might be better for you. So today's farm is going to be pretty simple. All you want to do is go in Northrend and anywhere in Northrend, you want to go and fish in some of the different school of fish. So as you can see, when you go here and you mark find fish, you will be able to see all these different school of fish. And in any of them, you will have a chance at getting this really rare item. So you can do it again anywhere in Northrend, but there is one location that in my opinion is going to be really good. And this is something that I got from a comment on Wohead. And this is this lake right here in the Odin Fjord. As you can see, you will have a lot of these different Fangtooth Earring School of Fish. And the lake is really simple. You can just fly around and each time you will find a new School of Fish. So really all you want to do is go around and as you can see, Normally, in just a few minutes, you will be able to get a lot of these different fish. And again, there's no one else in this area. There's no mobs that is going to attack you. Um, it's really simple. And especially, this is a lake, so you can very easily just go from one side to another. Normally, these different school of fish respawn pretty fast. Uh, as you can see here, in maybe like just a few minutes, I was able to do the entire lake. But if these different school of fish haven't respawned when you're done with the lake. What you can do is just go and go to this other lake that is just a little bit after. So the main one is called the Caldomir Lake and then you have this other one right here. So you can just go do this lake and then come back and do that again and again. And like that normally you will have a chance at fishing a lot of these different fish. One recommendation for you to make it as easy as possible is to go here in options and you want to click on auto loot because with auto loot, you will directly receive each time the different loot when you fish. And so you won't have to go and click on all the different items. So this is definitely something that will save you quite a lot of time. Now let's talk about the item that we're after with today's farm. And this item, as you can see, is this dagger right here, the dust bringer. So this item is a pretty normal looking dagger from Northrend. You have other similar models in the game, but with this one, there is one thing that makes it a unique appearance, and this is the red glowing effect around the dagger. So if someone wants to collect all the different items in the game, it means that they will need to also equip this appearance in order to get this in their collection. So definitely there is a market for this weapon. And again, there is almost no one selling it at the moment. So that's one thing that you really need to keep in mind. This item is very rare, but again, after maybe a few hours, you should be able to have a chance at getting it. So again, this is completely based on your luck. Sometimes maybe just after an hour, you will be able to get it. And sometimes maybe after 20 hours, you won't be able to get it. So. This is something that you should do only if you like this type of challengings and if you like to hunt for very, very rare items. So as I explained at the beginning of the video, there are only two available on European realms. And as you can see right now, there is one selling for 4 million gold and one for 870,000 gold. And then on North American realms, there are only three available. One is selling for 475,000 gold and then two for 1 million gold each. So as you can see right now, there's really not a lot of competition, which is really great when you're trying to sell this type of items. As this item is going to be very expensive and this is very niche, only the people who are really into collecting every item in the game will be a potential buyer, what you want to do is try to sell it on high pop realms because again, this is where you will have the most chance at actually selling the item. And keep in mind that with cross realm trading that is now free, you can easily transfer these type of items from your realm 
to another Hyperplum. So this is my main recommendation. If you're trying to sell this item, try to do it on a Hyperplum where there are no one else selling it at the moment. Now, next to this item, you will also be able to get a few other things. So first of all, you will also be able to get this other dagger right here, the dark earring. So this one is just a fish, as you can see. This one can be sold also for quite a lot of gold, but the only issue with this dagger is the fact that you cannot add it to your transmog, so you cannot use it as a transmog. So this is something that unfortunately removes quite a lot of value from the item. But maybe in the future, Blizzard will decide to add it to the transmog system. And when they will do, probably this item will have a boost in value. And still, this is something that you can easily sell for a couple hundred thousand gold on most realms. And then, of course, next to that, you will be able to get the mount, the sea turtle. As you can see, it's a really cool mount. And this is something that, again, is very rare. But you will have a chance at getting it when farming for the dust bringer. And finally, of course, when you will be fishing, you will receive a lot of these different uh, fish right here. And especially this one, the pick me soccer fish will be selling for quite a lot of gold. So you will definitely be able to also make a little bit of gold with these different fish. As you can see, eight gold each with 1,430 daily sales. So definitely something that is also nice to add. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to get the item if you want to try the farm and especially that you will be able to set it after a certain point. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great first day. Bye.